Hey friends, Ash here with 10 Cents. Hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm gonna to be letting you guys know some of my hidden weapon fragrances. These are ones that'll bust out when I want something that I know nobody else is gonna be wearing, but I still want to smell really nice. These fragrances span different seasons in terms of their usage. Some of them are more daytime fragrances, some are more nighttime fragrances, and some of them are actually discontinued but you can still find them pretty easily at discounters. There are also a ton, a metric butt ton, yeah, butt ton, of discontinued fragrances that I do wear that are actually really hard to find. I didn't wanna talk about those in the off chance that somebody buys them for like two, $300 and then gets angry at me because they don't like it as much as I do and I also don't wanna a run on those bottles that are already hard enough to find. So, all that out of the way, let's jump into it. Five hidden weapon fragrances. The first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is discontinued, but not really expensive at all. You can actually find testers of this fragrance for under 25 bucks. So as far as discontinued scents go, it's about as cheap as you're ever gonna find. It's this one right here, Escada Sentiment for Men. Once upon a time, Escada made fragrances for men as well as fragrances for women. And then they discontinued every single fragrance for men that they made. That is actually a huge bummer. Some of Escada's fragrances for men were fantastic. Really, really good stuff. Escada Pour Homme, awesome. Escada Magnetism, awesome. Escada Casual Friday, pretty awesome. And even some of the fragrances that weren't as unique as those ones were still really good. Escada Moon Sparkle, I really love that fragrance for just a casual daytime kind of scent, springtime, possibly summer. But yeah, they just killed them, all of them. And as far as this one, whether it's one of the more unique ones or one of the ones that's just easy to pull off, kind of somewhere in between. I mean, if you look at the bottle, you would probably think that it's gonna be one of those extremely unique smelling fragrances. And it does have unique facets to it, but it really keeps that wearability in check. It has juniper, pink pepper, lime, some woody notes, and nutmeg as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one does not smell good off a tester strip. Let me just tell you that straight up. If you spray this on a tester strip, it smells kind of like hairspray. It's, it's not pleasant. If you spray this on skin, actually really nice. It's got this sweet facet to it, kind of a tart sweetness in the opening. It's got a spiciness and as it dries down, a good amount of woods come into play. This one is great for casual use, great for spring, great for fall. You could probably pull this off in summer or winter as well, but for me, more of a neutral weather fragrance. Like I said, don't spray this on a tester strip, spray it on your skin. It's really nice, a big compliment puller as well. And there will be a day, I don't know when that day is, but there will be a day that this is hard to find and the price should go up. I mean, you can look at pretty much any other Escada Men's fragrance and the prices are really high, except for that one. Next one I wanna talk about is great in the summertime, great for daytime use, casual use, even for wearing on a vacation. It is this one, St. Kitts from Tommy Bahama. I love the bottle on this one. It's the same shape as in uh, Set Sail St. Bart's, but has this really nice uh, matte finish with this purple color. Looks great. And St. Bart's, in my opinion, is the most well-known fragrance from Tommy Bahama. That one gets thrown around a lot as a great alternative to Virgin Island Water by Creed. A nice, inexpensive version of that fragrance. And that's not really all that far off either, and St. Bart's is great, but for me, St. Kitts is the way to go. Has this really nice, interesting fruity opening with mandarin orange and star fruit that really pulls people in. Big compliment puller there in the opening of the fragrance. And then as it dries down, you get this nice salty aquatic vibe. So you have water notes, sea salt, and driftwood. It's not a monster performer, but it is easy to pull off. It's super easy to wear. You can spray this pretty much as much as you want, and it's not going to offend anybody. It's not gonna choke anybody out. For me, this one is a bit of an overlooked summertime banger really, really solid fragrance. And you can usually find this for under 40 bucks. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can find it for under 30. And since I mentioned it, Set Sail St. Bart's, also from Tommy Bahama, very good. So is Set Sail Martinique. And then there's also Tommy Bahama Maritime. That one, if you can find it for a good price, is a nice alternative 
to Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Up next is a fragrance from Roberto Cavalli. It's from their Womo line, which is a line that I think is a little bit underrated. This one is the Flanker Silver Essence. This one has tonka, lavender, cardamom, uh, violet leaf, and orris as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one has this really nice, enticing sweetness when you first spray it on. It's not an overload of sweetness, it's really well done. It also has kind of a classy edge to it, which is really owing to that orris and violet leaf combination. And really that, that enticing opening here is gonna be from the cardamom mainly. So it gives you this really nice, sexy, sweet spiciness to the fragrance. Really, really versatile. This one you could wear spring or fall. You could pull it off in summer. You could pull it off in winter. Daytime, you could use it. Nighttime, you could use it just as well. It's a little bit more versatile than Womo, just the original in the Cavalli line. And it's probably a little more versatile than the flankers that came after this one as well, Deep Desire and La Note. Those two fragrances are gonna be more for fall and winter time, and they're more of evening type scents. So this one is gonna give you that kind of blue fragrance versatility and that dumb reach factor where you can pretty much grab it, spray it on and go. And it's gonna work in pretty much any situation you find yourself in. And nobody else is really reaching for those or buying those, at least not like they are Yves Saint Laurent or Paco Rabanne or Chanel or Dior or any of the other big major fragrance houses. And another potential positive, that one, pretty inexpensive, at least if you buy from a discounter. Okay, this next fragrance is also technically discontinued, but relaunched. So discontinued in this version, but being brought back in what I imagine is going to be a very similar version. It's Emporio Armani Louis or Emporio Armani He. This version right here is technically discontinued but there is still old stock available all over the place. So if you go to your favorite discounter, there's a good chance that they're gonna have this in stock. That being said, it does go for more than it used to. Nowadays at discounters, you're gonna have to pay about $80 or so for this. Again, it's one of those things with discontinued fragrances. Once old stock starts to get low or sells out, then the price will go up. But until it reaches that point, you can usually get it pretty cheap. This one has a really in-depth note breakdown. There are a whole bunch of notes there. And in the relaunch version of this fragrance, which is coming out very, very, very soon, they've kind of pared that note breakdown down a little bit. And this fragrance is actually the one that gave me the idea for this video. When I saw that they were relaunching this, I remembered, you know, that I would occasionally pull this one out and wear it because nobody else really was. It gave me the idea to do this video. This one has sandalwood, oak moss, orris, sage, and apple, along with, like I said, a whole bunch of other notes. When I first spray this one on, it gives me this really nice, warm kind of scent profile, woody and spicy, undeniably masculine. It actually is pretty interesting to me. There's nothing that really smells exactly like this. Some of the flankers that came after it are pretty similar, which makes sense because they're building off of that DNA, but that one does its own thing. It's got this sort of throwback to a more classic masculine style and still does its own thing and smells modern enough. I mean, it did come out quite a while ago, decades ago, but it still works and it actually still pulls positive attention. So this one I'll pull out and wear every once in a while because I know, like I said, nobody else is gonna be rocking this. Also for what it's worth, the bottle is pretty unique. It's basically just this metal cylinder and then your atomizer is right here. So you just press down and boom. One word of warning with this fragrance though, like Escada Sentiment, if you've never worn this on skin before and you do happen across one of these and you spray it onto a tester strip, may not smell that great. This is a fragrance that for me anyway, has never smelled very good off a tester strip, but off skin, way, way better. The woodiness, the warmth, the spices, everything else comes across much more clearly off your skin. That's gonna take me to the last fragrance in this list. It's from Paco Rabanne. I have talked about it a few times on the channel. This one at one time was a really popular night out fragrance, really popular clubbing fragrance. It's fallen by the wayside now though, and it's overshadowed 
by one million from the same house. It's black excess. Nowadays, if you buy this fragrance, it's gonna come in a different bottle that looks like this right here. Looks more similar to the Pure Excess or Pure Excess Night bottles. This is how it used to come. So it has the little Zippo flip top, like so. Some people really love that, some people hate it because it can kind of get in your way when you're spraying the fragrance potentially. This one is really sweet, especially off the top. When you first spray this one on, get hit with a big blast of sweetness, but that's why so many people wore it and so many people loved it. It is an attention grabber. It's got lemon, it has praline, it's got woods, it has cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon, just like one million, though this one focuses more on the praline, along with that citrus off the top. They kind of mingle right away. As I mentioned before, this at one point in time was a huge night out fragrance, a huge clubbing fragrance because it got so much positive attention and now it's kind of just fallen by the wayside. It is still readily available, though if you want one of these older style bottles, you'll probably have to pay a little bit more and you'll probably have to find it on eBay or something like that. But the fragrance, you can still get it. It's just overshadowed, kind of like Paco Rabanne XS. Not many people talk about that one and it's a great alternative to Crete Himalaya. So Black XS for me, one of my hidden weapon fragrances. When I want something that's got good performance, that's gonna draw attention, that's got that really nice sweet scent profile that people love and people really gravitate toward, reach for that one. You can still stand that up against the Versace Eros or the Paco Rabanne One Millions of the world and it does really admirably. Black XS also, like you probably already have guessed, it's gonna be more of a cool weather fragrance. So more fall and winter time, more of an evening type scent. So there we go, five different hidden weapon fragrances. A couple of them discontinued, some of them more year round, some more for warm weather, some more for cool weather. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of the fragrances that you wear when you want something that nobody else is gonna have on. Basically something that you bust out when you're looking for positive attention and you want something that nobody else is gonna be wearing. All right guys, it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.